Today, we're finally gonna redo the coax on this. wanting to redo the CB coax on this and get it all done up and redo the whole CB setup. Well, today's the day because it's going to involve me tearing apart the part of the interior and redoing all the wiring out here. So let's uh, get inside. I'll show you what I need to do and then we'll get going from there. So to start, we're going to have to take apart a few things. Basically, the CB is going to have to come down. The E-log can stay, but the hookup is going to get taken down. I have new screws for that. We're just going to take the rest of this stuff down. This has to stay because that's stuck to the windshield. But the rest of it's going to come down. We're going to have to take this panel out. We're going to have to take the glove box out. And then, uh, well, basically the dash. So, yeah. Running coax properly in one of these things is a pretty tough deal, and there's one catch on this that we're not going to be able to do. These antennas are mounted inside the mirrors with these screws and all that. They are mounted um, with just basically nutzers into plastic, and I will break every last one of them trying to get them out. So unfortunately... I'm going to have to put an aftermarket bracket up there. But it's going to be alright on this side because it's got the holes in the upper mirror bracket and the lower mirror bracket to run everything through. The passenger side is not, so we're going to have to, uh, we can run it through the bottom of the mirror bracket, but there's no hole in the top, so I'm going to have to uh, zip tie it there, which I hate doing, but uh, I've had them like that before and it is what it is. So. Uh, if these were the old school mirrors, it wouldn't be a problem, but these plastic mirrors are just tough and I don't want to deal with it because once you start breaking things, it never ends and these are going to be, these would be very expensive to repair. So it's just cheaper to, and easier to add aftermarket brackets, which all the trucks have anyways, and then run your coax that way. Well, so far, we've got pretty much the passenger side to our part. A box out. It comes up through this little hole right here, but down in here, right about here is where it comes in. Um, a lot of this stuff is just for the smart cameras and the e-logs and stuff. Um, we got that out. We actually have new bolts and stuff for that. Uh, I'm going to have to take this piece out here. And I won't have to do that on that side, but I will have to take that front panel off. And I don't know about the bottom, well, the bottom panel will have to come out anyway. So, um, because I got to route it through here and it's going to plug into the back of this. So let me finish getting all this tore up and then uh, we'll get to the mirrors. Okay, now that we've got the passenger side all tore apart, you can get the antenna off. Um, and this out here, um, I can actually snake it through here, stick my arm through there and I'll get through that hole there and I'll get it. Um, we've got everything out here. Okay, I'm, all I'm going to do on the mirror right here is cut this right here and, uh, and we'll just pull it out. Then I'll go down here and it feeds out of the bottom here into this bracket so once I mount the and put the new antenna mount up there the problem I'm having on this side is this is the only hole so I'm gonna have to zip tie it here bring it through this hole through here out here and then into that so let's get that done so we got the cord, I don't know what I was thinking, getting 18 feet of it, but 
we're gonna cut the old coax out and drag it out through this hole now you could probably run this through this is actually a lot thicker than I thought it would be um, but uh, it'll be a lot easier if you just take the old coax out uh, so you want to start on this end here route it through and get it through and then we'll get all 18 feet through that hole and then have to stick all 18 feet in through that hole and then pull it out through the other hole and then stick it into another hole and drag it up there so we can drag it out in fifth sixth hole so there's a lot of holes there's a lot of holes in everything I do all right so let's uh, get this done and we'll get it wrapped through here and then we'll just go from there so we got it through uh, here be very careful when bringing it through here this was uh, a little temperamental as you see we got into the shielding a little bit sliding it through we actually hit the metal right there I'm gonna have to tape that up uh, didn't it just it didn't get into the metal but it exposed it so we're gonna tape that up once we get it into the inside uh, but getting it in, once we got it in, you just had to make sure you fed it carefully through the hole there and didn't really scrape the sides. So now that we got this, we're going to shove it in there and take it up. Okay. So when you feed it in, you have the one line coming out of the glove box, out of the little rubber grommet. So grab onto that line and just kind of feed it at the same time. That way it prevents it from binding because you're kind of going up a 45 degree angle. So just feed it in like that, but use both hands uh, once you get it in and it'll go pretty quick. All right, so we have it all run through. It's coming out where it's supposed to now. We got about this much left. But the neat thing is, is this piece right here just screws on and uh, just screws on. And you, uh, but then you can just basically screw it into the back of your CB, and it'll be just fine. It's a little thicker than I would have liked, but it'll it'll do the job. So let's get all this tacked up, and then we'll move to the other side. Go over to the driver's side. I've already got the cap off, but this one's going to be more difficult because we're replacing more than just the CB antenna. We're also replacing that. If that was just a regular XM antenna I wouldn't worry about it. But that's also the antenna for my smart drive and the GPS is built into the dash. It's not working. I have a brand new antenna. I've already plugged it in once to see if it work. It does work. So, but the problem is is that in order to do all that we have to tear out the dash. Now you're probably wondering why I'm putting another CB antenna in on this side. Because on the driver's side, that's usually I hook it up to the regular terrestrial radio. You wouldn't believe the kind of range you can get with a pair of Francis's on your regular AM, FM. And at night I like to listen to Coast to Coast sometimes. So we're going to have to tear the dash apart and uh, take all that apart and then uh, start running wires. So let me show you what I got. So like the other side, I got one of these, but this is the new antenna. Actually, through the company, I got a very good deal on that. And this is the AM FM antenna. Now we're gonna run this first because this has, uh, this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna pull all the excess wire out of there first um, because you have to run two plugs through there and I'm probably going to end up hooking it onto a tying it to a coat hanger and feeding it straight down um, it's you got to run two plugs together and as much room as you can and that's going to make be the difference so got to be real careful with these not like that other one so we'll get those run and then we'll run the AM FM and then uh, once we get it there we'll tear out the dash and we got to run it in this is where it gets a little tricky Okay, so we got the old antenna off. Actually, I had to break it off. It was uh, it was seized. Eh, so let's get get the new one out. So this is the new antenna, and it doesn't come with any mounting hardware. I'm supposed to use all the stuff I can't get out that's stripped. 
So I have to take this one screw down to the hardware store and uh, go get screws. So I guess let's get cleaned up here, go to the hardware store, and I'll be back. So we got it all run. Let me show you. The antenna here, we got it all run through here. I don't even want to talk about that. Uh, got it all out here. This is only this long, so hopefully there's an extension cord. Uh, because if they're not, I'm going to be really mad. And then uh, this is for the radio. This is for the old antenna. And this is for the old CB. So I found it on the inside. And well, the inside's a disaster right now. Um, took the dash out. And let me turn the light. If I could turn the light on here. Let's see. Really can't see it, but there's a little rubber piece right there. Where everything comes up and out, actually. It's right here. So I kind of have to do this by feel. So let me get this all run in here and then we'll see what happens there. And hopefully uh, hopefully there's an extension or something onto that. And I can use the GPS. But if not, I guess lesson learned and I'll just deal with it later. Or I'll never deal with it again. So let's... Uh, get this hooked up and go from there so uh, so let me show you where we're at so uh, the dash looks like it's giving birth we've got everything run in here if you can see out there um, it's all back I've got to find the plug in for this uh, I don't see it so maybe I was misguided I often am uh, so we'll look for that back here but we've got everything else out that we need to so gotta run this back i gotta get we still got all sorts of e-log stuff here i lost the screw of this which will never be found i heard it hit down there and it said i'm free so it's gone uh so i've still got an old people net unit here i've got it do something with they've got the smart drive here i've got the sam sarah here i'll be really glad when they figure out what they're doing and i can just have just one thing all i want is one so let me get this calamity all put back together and we'll go from there okay so before i show you the inside we've just about got that completely done i'm gonna put on some new antennas i got some four foot francis's i got them on sale they were selling for 11 bucks a piece, so we're getting rid of them. But I've been holding on to these for a while, so I'll stick these on. I'll go find my CB radio that I'm going to put in. And we'll go inside, and I'll show you what we've done. So let's get these on. Okay, so we got the antennas on. No big deal. 7 16 screwed right in. Um, we, we got the inside just about completely put together. Excuse me. So let me show you. Here on the e-log, I got... Where I got it mounted um, up here, I actually have a 12 volt socket to the CB uh, 12 thing. That way, I could mount it up high, and I didn't have to run power down, you know, through the windshield or down there. Now that we got all that done, I've got the CB mount up, um, and then for the smart drive, I actually got this finally mounted. I had to take these three switches out to mount it. I didn't like that, but that's just what happened. But other than that, everything's put back together. Everything looks normal. So now I've tucked nine feet of wire in there. So we're going to put the CB in and then got to put the, well, I'm not going to put the GPS in yet, but I'll put the camera in and then I'm going to show you everything that we did because I've tested out a couple things so far. Well, by accident, I was going to do it with you guys, but the antenna works. So we got GPS in the dash now and uh, everything else so far works. So I'm really anxious to see how well the CB works. If it doesn't work, eh, it doesn't work because it didn't work worth a crap before. So, hey, whatever. So let me get the CB mounted up. I already got it spread out for the big one. I'm putting, my, I'm putting the big mama back in and uh, then we'll get that all hooked up and go from there. Okay, so we got the big radio in. This is a Cobra GTL 148 with a frequency counter on it. 
made in the Philippines in 1991. Uh, it's an old radio, but it's uh, it's been opened up. Let's see, can you see that? Well, key up. So yeah, um, it's got a variable power knob in the back. These all go between the upper and lower channels. I've got about 1,500 channels on this. It's it's amazing. And I can move in between the channels because the clarifiers open up. I can go uh, half a channel, a whole channel. I can just move between the channels with just turning the knob. It's a wild radio. It was built by somebody who really liked radios. It puts out pretty good power. I can't wait to get it out on the road and try it out. Um, I'm going to have to fix the uh, this. I don't like that. I don't like things dangling. Um, but aside from that, this is pretty much it. I forgot. So let's hit that. Oh, let's hit this. Just gonna turn that on. And uh, gotta wait for it to boot up. I've got a cleaner for this. I actually found it. So I'm gonna put that in and see if I can get this going again. Um, come on, you. I do the theme to, well, Jeopardy, but then I'd probably get dinged. So, oh, hey. All right, so hey, the navigation's working. It says I'm facing southwest, which is absolutely wrong. Um, I'm facing straight north. But uh, we'll just, it takes a little while. So verify where to, see, we got full signal now. That's awesome. I haven't used this in forever. Uh, I have no idea. Well, that's nowhere I live. But the important thing is is that it's working and uh, I'd much rather have it in the dash than having things dangling and stuck in the windshield. You know, I, I don't like too many things all around. But all that aside, um, it's kind of neat to have it. I mean, it's pretty neat to have it all done up now. I've been wanting to get it fixed for quite a while. It was kind of a cluster to do it i'll tell you this though i mean if you're gonna do it take your time it takes a lot of time and this is why putting in a 150 dollar antenna runs you a thousand fifteen hundred bucks because it is so time consuming um they're gonna do book time on this if you were to do the coax and everything you're looking at a good eight hours because they're, they're gonna tear everything up but they're gonna do it right if you're gonna have coax run do it at a CB shop. It'll be a whole lot cheaper. And if you have a guy that you like, um, have him do it. One other thing I forgot to show is we took the Allen head uh, screws out of here because these just break out after a while. Um, what you need to do is put a spacer in there, a washer, and a bolt, and it'll really shore it up really nice. Um, I couldn't find any spacers, but I, I'm going to. Uh, I say that, but I put here. But this one was already ready to go with the uh, plug-in for the e-log there. So we pretty much got everything tied up. Actually, we do have everything tied up. As we finish this up in my easy chair, because that's where I like to be. It's my easy chair. Yes, I am aware this is a Facebook meme, this chair. But it's mine, and I like it. Red just reminded me of that, because my whole living room is a 70s Facebook meme. But all that aside, I, uh, not a whole lot happened. It's just, it's all about the process of putting these antennas in. You know, I could have just done it easy, just ran one through the door and all that. But eventually, you know, the door, if the door never opens, but it eventually... With the shifting and all that, you'll have to replace it over and over and over. And you might as well just do it right. Now, truthfully, I could have done it a whole lot better. And there's a reason I didn't show a lot of the installation, because it was ugly. There was a lot of ugliness that happened today. And uh, I tried a bunch of different things. The hardest thing to get through was the, uh, was the GPS antenna. That was the hardest thing to get through. But it, it took it took a lot, and uh, if you're going to be doing that, just be prepared. Make sure you have that tube as empty as you can, because you've still got to 
ground and all the heat for the uh, the mirror heaters and all that, the wires all still have to go through there. So you're only dealing with half the space. So that's something to think about. So what I had to do was basically just stagger them and then hook them around a wire and then feed them through. And it got ugly. In fact, I did kind of crack one of them, but it, it, it works fine. Um, it was, uh, it was not pretty, but all that aside, I got it done. The AM FM was a little disappointing. I didn't realize that, well, it's all internally and it doesn't have a standard plug in like an old radio. So that was for not, but I'll tell you this, if I ever put a standard radio in it, I can actually use that. And that may be the next thing because that whole system is antiquated. You can't find parts for it. I don't even know if I can find anybody to rebuild it. And if I want to get it all redone through Peterbilt, it's about five grand, the whole smart nav system. It's a complete ripoff. They tell you, we don't make this stuff anymore, but if you want the upgraded setup and all the adapter plugs, that's about five grand. I'd rather not. So aside from that, the CB works, everything works. I rerouted the smart nav panic button onto the dash. It didn't like losing those three switches, but they were spares. Don't you need them anyways. But it all went back together just fine, and if you take your time, it's not hard. It's just tedious and time-consuming. If you're not comfortable, get a friend. But truthfully, if you were going to have this done at Peterbilt, it would probably... Everything I did, if you run both the coaxes, the whole ordeal, um, you're probably looking at 8 to 10 hours book time. Easily. And at about $200 an hour... And that's a lot of money. The antenna, I got it uh, through the company discount. They're about, without the discount, they're about $350 for that GPS antenna. Um, and then to have it all run through with the, the mirrors and all that, if you're going to, it's, like I said, we were going to run it through the mirrors like it was stock, but we couldn't, you know, it's just, they're seized on a bolster strip. It's, it's not a good deal. And I decided it would just be more prudent to just do it old school. And truthfully, it really doesn't detract from the truck anyways. But aside from that, it's all done. And it all works, and I'm really happy about that. So now that that's done, we can get on to some more shenanigans and uh, with the truck. And hopefully everything works good. I'm looking forward to seeing how the GPS works. It's out of date, but it's a Garmin. I can make a phone call, pay a little money over the phone, boom, get it updated. Not a problem. But aside from that, everything's good. So I hope you enjoyed this little journey into madness. We did take a lot of the truck apart, but you kind of have to. It wouldn't look, be so bad if I didn't have so much, you know, like the, the people net, the Sam Sarah unit, and the smart cam, and the smart cam and set up in there. There would be a lot less stuff in there if I didn't have any of that. But we live in a day and age where we have to have all that stuff because, well, insurance says we do, and the government backs them. Let's not get into that. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you had any questions, uh, let me know. It was truthfully everything there that I did. You can be into it for about 250 Well. About 250 bucks, not counting the CB radio. So, I mean, the replacement screws for the... I paid 78 cents for four of them. I got a good hardware store next town up. So, yeah, about 250 bucks and about an afternoon. Uh, what did you figure? About five, six hours? Yeah. yeah, about five, six hours. So, anyhow, well, I hope you enjoyed this journey into madness and... We got it all put back together, so I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.